to TED Talk Now. And a researcher has made a lightened cable that can hack your computer. <laughs> What's this with the bittersweet experience with the tech world? We get good stuff, and then the next time you're hearing really bad news. So how do I know what cable to go for? How do I know if I'm... Is it on the market? Yes, it is. And actually, so he did this purposely to show the, the creators of these devices and stuff that it's a risk. It's something that they need to take you know, into consideration. So with that being said, he put it on the market. Mm. And he even documented the process to make the cable. So what this does, it's an iPhone cable, iPad cable, any cable that controls your I Apple device. The reason why he chose that is that it's the slimmest of all the cables. So once that is able to achieve that, then it means any other cable can do it. So he's implement he's put certain chips inside a cable. So when you plug it into your computer, connect it to your phone, it does what it's supposed to do, but it also has a secret you know, access to your computer. So he can wirelessly control your computer, send files to it. This exploit has existed for a while. You know, the US government, the CIA has used it before, and now it's Anyone can make it. All Anyone right. who knows how to think. I, I know some people will be saying, what's the lightning cable? So let's just help those who don't know what so that cable is. The lightning cable is a cable that comes in the box of your iPhone exactly. or your iPad that you use to connect your phone to your computer or to your charger to charge it. Now you see the big part that goes into the charger or your computer. It has enough space to fit in another chip that can control your computer wirelessly. So wow. I give you my cable, you come and you say, hey, can I borrow your cable? Oh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> you take it, you connect it to your computer, and I have access to your computer. This, is, this doesn't feel good. Oh, but that's why you should always get an original charger exactly. too. You should get it from the official you know, authorized dealers and not from Spikey and his co-ops. Please, if you've got an iPhone, you should be really concerned. Or any uh, phone, uh, actually, because oh. if an iPhone can be exploited like that, any phone. Okay, so do get your lightning cable from the original source. Okay, let's stay with um, Apple, because MacBook Pros have been banned yeah. from flights. I know on flights, you're usually told, oh, if you want to use your laptop, um, wait after takeoff, uh, put it on flight mode, and you can work with it. Yeah. But this time around, it's banned. It's banned. So what, if, I, if I'm on a business um, uh, trip, I cannot travel with my MacBook? MacBook Pro, yes. Or so I have to put it in my luggage, it goes into the Actually, car. they don't even want it to go at in all. A, in a, at all, because it's a fire risk. You remember when the Samsung Note 7s were exploding? They were also banned from flights. So apparently, there's a problem with the MacBook Pros from 2014 to 2017, the batteries, that co could potentially explode. At that height. At that height. Well, basically, lithium-ion batteries could explode if any slight modification to them or any slight, anything that happens to them could cause them to explode. And unfortunately, the MacBook Pro from 2014 to 2017 are at that risk. So they have been recalled by Apple. So if, you're, if you have one and you're not sure, you need to check to make sure that your MacBook Pro does not have a defective battery. If it does, you can't go on a plane with it. Um, this is in America now. The European uh, air aircraft airline agencies are also trying to put that into you know, effect. And if that happens, it's going to roll into Africa and everywhere else. And you can't take a 2014 to 2017 MacBook Pro onto an airplane, unless, obviously, it's been fixed. Mm. Mm. So as it is, it's indefinite. We can tell how long the ban will last, yeah. but it's a ban. Bad news for Apple users yeah. today. But uh, before we go, uh, Spikey, mm. Huawei has unveiled a rival to the Android. You remember when we were talking about the mm -hmm. iOS Android battle? Yeah. We we're wondering if we could get a third you know, force coming mm -hmm. in. But Huawei has done that. And this is called Harmony. Yes. Harmony OS. <laughs> so the reason why they call it Harmony OS is because all their devices will run this OS and they would work in Harmony. So okay. this is what they've always been seeing. They've been developing in the background to, in case Apple, uh, sorry, I'm talking about Apple, <laughs> in case Android. the US bans okay. Huawei indefinitely and then they can't sell their devices with Android. So now they can have their own OS running. Now if this happens, that means that Huawei has another OS on the market and people who are using those devices can be sure to use it if you are confident with it, mm. if you can get an apps that are going to run on it. That's, that's what a lot of people are concerned about, apps. But once that can work, 
I'm sure they would have a problem. I've, I've had a feel of the um, Apple mm -hmm. iOS software. I've had a feel of the Android. Yeah. I'm just wondering what, what new thing How the Harmony is going to bring on it's, board. It will be a whole lot like Android because okay. it's based on Android. Android okay. is open source, so even I could go take Android and modify it and call it Spike OS. Okay. But <laughs> the thing is that what you're not getting with Harmony OS is the stuff that comes with Android, like the Play Store, like the Play Protect that protects you from certain apps that are not secured and all that stuff. So yeah. Interesting. Thank you very much, Spikey, there with the latest from the world of technology.